What's poppin' YouTube? It's Vumbi Reacts over here back again with another video. Yeah, man, this time we got uh, another WWE wrestling video. Uh, this one is going to be uh, The Rock bullying people for nine minutes. Uh, it says part one over here. And I believe this video is by uh, MO3TZ. Yeah, man. So we're going to check this one out, man. I uh, love this type of videos. If this is your first time on this channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, uh, share button, and comment down your uh, thoughts and opinions. And then let's get into it. Yeah, man. Hi guys, welcome to the channel, hope you are doing well. Today's video is The Rock bullying people for 9 minutes. I did the same video with Stone Cold Steve Austin, so oh, we should why not out. make the same thing with the gray one. Probably we're gonna need a second part, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And that's it, let's go. Been trying to take it, I said no way Thought it's ain't a game, now nah, I don't play You can tell my fan that I'm okay Yeah Grab a bull, great one People's champ To say the least, The Rock is something you're not undisputed champion So shut up, bitch <laughs> <laughs> The go on the mic Four days at Wrestlemania You ain't getting redemption, Jack You're getting your ass kicked <laughs> Miami Pie in the house, yeah. <laughs> Man, The Rock was awesome. Boo The Rock, it's not The Rock's fault that you don't have enough class to live in Manhattan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yo, 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 you are on crack. Yo. <laughs> All right, yeah, you weigh your little thing, you're looking like a blind nun. All right, hey, do me a favor and park The Rock's truck. <laughs> Shane McMahon, your face between those two cheeks. Now, oh, hell no. Nah. Big Show says walk. <laughs> yeah, I got to give it a Vince, man. He was willing to do it all. Put her down on her knees where she belongs. Is that China? Oh, that is China. I thought that was uh, Stephanie for a second. What? what in the blue hell are you smiling at, you sick freak? I see it differently. I see it. That it doesn't matter how you see it. <laughs> ah, this little Makes the rock want to stick his finger down his throat and spew the people's vomit all over your candy asses. Him and them silk shirts. Spew the people's vomit. This is Vince McMahon. You have pride. You keep that some bitch going. <laughs> Big Daddy cool the rock's ass more like Big Daddy bitch. <laughs> this is this is the man who said that quote, Lance Armstrong, he was full of crap and so are you. Still can't believe you're still talking about the night you beat Stone Cold Steve Austin and myself. Same night, you're still talking about it. Well, I guess it's better talking about the haircut that makes you look like a 12-year-old boy. Um, <laughs> Stone Cold! Mouthful Look at the jury, you sick freak. Okay. <laughs> well, she, Look boy, she's good on your knees, China. It almost looks like a natural position. <laughs> Up the rock. The rock will be the guy who oh gets in that ring. Oh, my God. Man, a WWE back then versus what we have now, man. It's like black and white. Just, it's not even the same book or it's not even like a different page turn. It's a whole complete different book, man. It's like... Man, shout out to people like The Rock, you know, Stone Cold, Undertaker, uh, Triple H, John Michaels, Ric Flair, all the goats, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Tighten his shoes and whoop your ass. Can't forget Booker T. The rock is. I'll do some Booker T reactions, too. Can you imagine, Jesus, waking up to this face every morning. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, time to get your ass whooped. Oh, <laughs> all your sons of bitches might as well take a bye, bye. You bunch of sheep. <laughs> yeah. Mama's a slut. Your daddy's a hoe. You interrupt the rock like that and whip that ass all over San Diego. Your daddy's a hoe. You want to know where the rock can find an ear of corn to stick up Vince's red rectum? Yeah. No. Love to go. No, what? Well, then go get the rock a bologna sandwich because this doesn't concern you. <laughs> A man with 24 inch pythons would have half inch testicles. <laughs> <laughs> For some particular sure they reason, all your breath smells like. At least back then. Hey, sit 
your little ass down over there now. Hold on, man. It's the rock show. Sit down. In <laughs> fact, that man beside you, your manager, has Twinkie tits. <laughs> You keep talking to the rock like that, the rock putting his foot right up your candy ass, bitch. Oh no! Well no way he would ever kiss a piece of trash like you. Oh. The same segment. <laughs> you tell the rock to shut his mouth, honey, he'll come out there and slap the taste out of your mouth, baby. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell the rock to shut up. Go. Shut up. <laughs> no, rock, why did you say no? Shut up, woman, none of your business. The rock in the first place, you straight punk bitch. God. Oh, God. <laughs> and these guys. Concerning what the rock did to you earlier tonight, you're probably back there right now sucking it with each other. Yo. Sucking it. What does your video hey. sound like? Go to our. A very underrated part. A very underrated part to like these videos or just like the commentary is Jerry Lawler and um, I think it was Jim Ross, right? I think it was, is it Jim Ross? Yeah, Jim Ross, uh, correct me. But um, when those little ad libs be putting in there, like, suck it, man. <laughs> oh, man, Jerry Lawler, man. Him and, uh, him and Jim Ross were goaded. It was on Raw when The Rock took your face and shoved it straight up Rikishi's oh. ass. Oh, no. Oh, no. Happy birthday to Steph. You're a hoe with big breasts. <laughs> Shout out Michael you got Cole a hell too, of a man. woman here. She's flexible as all hell. Whoa, I mean, it's amazing. You're going to have a great marriage. Put some more hot sauce on it. Turn that some bit sideways and stick it straight up. Turn that eagle's candy ass. <laughs> You're no savior, Kanye. You're an asshole. The punk ass sucker and the silver spoon, mother bugger. <laughs> Best part about being here in Sacramento is in about an hour and a half, the rock is gonna leave. Man, one of the things I gotta say, um, especially like the current landscape of wrestling, I feel like a lot of the wrestlers are like very like, yeah, you got like the very like, um, I feel like a lot of them, let me, let me start off like that. I feel like a lot of the wrestlers are kind of limited due to the fact that it's, it is a PG product now. Versus back then when it was like a TV 14, so they could be a little bit more edgier. So like when The Rock is out here cussing up a storm and all that kind of stuff, he added more to his character. And I would love to see that with like, if if we could ever get, I know there was rumors talking about that it was going to go back to being TV 14. It's going to have more blood and all that kind of stuff. It really never happened as, long, as far as I've seen so far. Had, nothing has really changed like that. The story is all good now. They are the... Um, they got the um, the bloodline storyline going on. That's been really heating. Then you got the Judgment Day on Raw, Seth Rollins, all of them. So it's kind of coming, but I, I, if it was like a little bit more edgier, man, I feel like that would be a better product that way. Sacramento! <laughs> There's a man right now who actually has this in his garden, and he's a virgin. What else we got right here? Intern. You just need to get some. Huh? She's not an intern. That's just show a little respect here, Rock. It looks like she's about to. This is Bill Goldberg. They like a fucking tank. Just bring it, bitch. Oh my gosh. God, you know, <laughs> as a rock guy. I'm saying, what? 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 <laughs> says, if anyone in this world should be humiliated, it's you. Wow. He wants you to get down on your knees. Uh oh! Don't get excited, China. No, don't get excited. Not yet. <laughs> he wants you to pucker your lips like this. You might have been born with a silver spoon in your mouth, but tonight you're going home with the Rock's black boot shoved right up your ass. <laughs> Bitch, you know what I say? It doesn't matter what your opinion is. <laughs> We're looking at what would happen if a homeless lumberjack banged an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> the middle of the ring right now looking like she just swallowed a bunch of stink pickles yeah. officers we gotta Excuse go to Russia, but don't we get in trouble we could use Stephanie the man's breast as a flotation device but <laughs> sit them down they tie them up and they'd make them watch copies of the DVD the marine oh shit <laughs> kick your teeth so far down your throat you'll stick a toothbrush straight up your ass to brush them 
Why are you booing me? Don't you boo me! Oh, shut your mouth! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big show is... What's your name, Joe? Well, it don't matter anyway, but listen, hey, The Rock still likes you. That's fine. Come on, man, you guys should... I mean, like this, we say this good old-fashioned American style. Just bring it, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> You come out here and you run your mouth. I'm going to be talking uh, and saying absolutely nothing. Uh. <laughs> and if there's going to be anybody whooping your candy, it's going to be the rock. And there's two men that want to kick Angle's rear end. It sucks I didn't get to experience this live, man. I was living, I was living older now. dip his horns, turn up sideways. Stick up straight up, your candy ass! Oh, or you could sit in your little glass box looking like a drunk hobbit jack bag. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I remember that. I, like, why? Mm. Chris Jericho, you are still the biggest monkey's anus walking God's green earth. <laughs> monkey's anus? You couldn't provide ice cream if the Dairy Queen, Carvel, and Cookie Puss drove an ice cream truck straight up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is my pretty pony. Don't touch my pretty pony. Remember that? I no, got to Don't remember. Shut your mouth. And then you just. Speaking of that, I got to. Oh, it's almost over. Uh, I got to revisit. We definitely got to watch part two. I got to revisit that B, um, that beef, that, that feud that he had with like, uh, I know it was short with CM Punk. Because I know he, CM Punk at the time had Paul Heyman as his advocate, which, man, like, usually they pair Paul Heyman up with guys who can't really, who aren't really good on the mic. But you can make an argument that um, CM Punk is one of the greatest on the mic, like, ever, with how he's able, you know, remember the pipe bomb, all those things. So I got to go back and, like, revisit that. Uh, maybe I'll react to some of the uh, back and forth, the promos and stuff like that uh, from that feud. Because like both of them are so great on the mic, man. CM Punk is such a good, um, such a good promo artist. Same thing with uh, you know, The Rock is one of the goats, you know. So, for sure. Just ran, you ran. Got to beat Kurt Angle, which means I'm gonna drink a big glass of milk, eat some chocolate chip cookies, and then maybe I'll take three Viagra. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, you will find all my social. Hey, man. Hey man, that's the video right here, man. Let me give the bro a subscribe. And then we'll probably be checking out more of his videos, man. Uh, it's MO3TZ with the WWE video here. But anyways, man, you guys know, man, The Rock, man, one of the ghosts, one of the uh, greatest on the mic, one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. Uh, just such a good character, such a funny character, man. Brought a different perspective. Um, him and Austin basically changed the industry, man. They took it from like, I mean, him, Austin, Undertaker, Kane, Triple H, Booker T, like I said earlier, these are like superstars that really came through and like really changed the industry and like to bringing it to what it is now, making it global. But yeah, man, do me a favor, man. If this is your first time on this channel, hit that subscribe button. And then, uh, if you want to see more content like this, a like and share. And then, uh, yeah, man, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.